explorers, welcome back to Exploration Place. My name is Jessica, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, meteorology. But in particular, we're gonna talk about lightning. Now, many of you might know that lightning is dangerous, but why is it dangerous? In fact, lightning is almost five times as hot as the sun. Take a look over here. The sun is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightning bolts, though, can be up to 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is very, very hot. You would not want to be struck by lightning. But how does lightning actually work? Well, lightning works a lot like magnets. You might recall that magnets have two poles, and the opposite poles attract towards each other. This is the same as the ions that are inside of a cloud. So I've created a little diagram here that shows positive in blue, negative in red, and when the ions connect, they create lightning bolts. Now, most of these lightning bolts are what they call intracloud. So they happen between the ions within the cloud, and so they don't actually strike the ground. But when they do strike the ground, that is called cloud to ground. And the way it works is if you notice, my ions, the blue are at the top and the red are towards the bottom. They're separated because the wind has separated them out. So this is a thunderstorm that's developing. And as you notice down here in my tree, it also has the blue. Now the blue and the red are positive and negative, so they like to attract to each other. And so they have a, what they call a leader. They have a downward leader or a step leader. It looks almost like steps coming down towards the ground, feeling around for those ions. They also have an upward leader that's coming up from the ground. If I can get it to come here. All right, we're gonna make it work. Here we go. Come on, lightning. <laughs> when they attach though, that's when you see it. That's when the sparks happen and that creates a lightning strike. So there are many types of lightning and something kind of fun to do, again, from the safety of your home, is when you notice the flash of lightning, count how many seconds until you hear the thunder. Once you have that number, divide it by five and that's how many miles away the storm is from where you're standing. However, do this from the safety of the home again, because if you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Thanks for joining me, friends, and we'll see you again next time.